Create is my favorite Minecraft mod because of its amazing add-ons. So I wanted to make a love letter to the best aspect of my favorite mod by compiling a list of 10 add-ons that I think are just amazing and really enhance the experience. From quality of life to game-changing effects, these are my picks for the top 10 add-ons in 2024. Oh, and if you're really liking the showcase box that I'm in right now, it was made by G the Glorious, so thank you very much for that. And first up on the list is Create Crafts and Additions. Okay, look, every single one of these mods is going to start with Create, so I'm going to exclude that because I don't want to say Create like 19,000 times. But yes, Crafts and Additions is an amazing mod that gives you access to, like, FE, which is sort of Forge Energy. It's for, like, mechanism and machines and stuff, and it's a great bridge. You can create SU and RPM with FE with the electric motor, or you could create FE with rotation. I love the way you move power around with these little, like, connector things, and you create these wire lines. Like, I could take from the alternator, which generates FE, and put into the generator, which takes FE and generates SU, and then I could power this guy. Now, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of balance here, right? You can't produce 256 RPM off of an input of 256 RPM, so there's some loss and stuff. It's very well balanced. This is a super, super popular mod. You've definitely heard of it, especially because of the best feature, which is the blaze burner with straw. In vanilla create, you can't directly pump fluids into blaze burners, but if you were to put a straw from crafts and additions, they become a fluid container they can be pumped directly into, and I really, really like it. It's so convenient. They also add biofuel as a liquid fuel to give your blaze burners superheated and it's renewable. But like I said, this is in almost every single create mod pack, as it should be, so we're gonna move on to the next one. Jetpack. Yes, there is is a jetpack mod for the create mod and it's so nice too like very interesting and balanced recipe you need brass you need elytra so you can't just do this but once you put it on you'll see it is a lovely lovely jetpack you can turn on hover mode that was the wrong button ahem turn on hover mode and then you get a sort of slightly descending jetpack and you can see it's very good for building you can kind of sprint while using it as well which is great you can refuel it just like a back tank by twisting this on the top and of course you could even go and upgrade it into a netherite jetpack which even gives you a netherite armor piece on you can see not only do you look cute because you got yourself a little jetpack on but you're nice and defended but it is just so 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 convenient to have a way to build and a way to move and i think the recipes are really really balanced honestly next we actually have two mods here which is central kitchen and slice and dice these mods are actually double add-ons. They're add-ons to both Create and Farmer's Delight, but you're almost always going to find Farmer's Delight in a Create mod pack because of how well they mesh together. So you're gonna want these if you got both of those and they just make things so much better. So Central Kitchen mostly adds recipes to the game, but there's one thing that's really cool. See, by default, you can't actually use mechanical arms on cooking pots, but if you go into Central Kitchens, it's called cooking guide like this you can open this up and create a little cooking guide right here give it to a blaze burner beneath a cooking pot and now you can do that which is really cool so that will automatically use uh, the rice into the cooking pot following the recipe it's just a really nice quality of life feature i think it's super sick but otherwise, like I said, Central Kitchen is more of a recipe change thing. It is slice and dice that adds some really cool items. Like this. The sprinkler. See, if we want to have a little garden bed like this, we'd have to hide water around. But with a sprinkler, if you pump water into it, you'll see it creates these really cute particles and actually waters the ground beneath it without you having to put any water around. Like, no tricks, no waters here just sprinklers. Now this works with other liquids too, right? You could use potions and even lava to spread fire or their potion effect, and you could use liquid fertilizer to actually fertilize the ground beneath it. We gotta wait for the water to go through itself for a second, but it'll do it. So you can see liquid fertilizer, it's not producing much of a visual effect, and it doesn't water the ground, but it is bone meal. Oh, there we go. There's the particles. It is bone mealing. This is so cool. And I don't think it's too bad to make. You can either use organic compost from Farmer's Delight or tree fertilizer, which is definitely a few farms, but at the end of the day, it's so powerful. A lot of this stuff can mostly be achieved by just processing your plants from Farmer's Delight. And this last thing is just so cool. It is called the slicer. You can give it a knife and boy that doesn't that look crazy and you can put like slicing recipes oh right it prefers a basin over a depot don't you buddy 
Why are you being funky? Oh, it's going in the wrong direction. I didn't know that was even a thing. Okay, whoop, there you go. Boom, look how fast that is. And if I'm not mistaken, it should accept an axe. That's right, because this is all cutting board recipes. So this actually adds a really fantastic way to bulk strip logs. Look at that. I wish it, like, stayed down instead of pressing, but still... Very, very fast way to strip logs and also get tree bark out of it, too. I love Farmer's Delight, and I love these add-ons. They're just too cool. Next up, you know I had to mention it. It's steam and rails. Everybody knew this was coming. Trains are one of Create's coolest features, and steam and rails just takes them to the highest level. Not only does it add a frankly silly amount of train tracks, but the actual feature depth of this mod is too much for this video. One thing I love about it is the smokestacks. I mean, look at that. This is like new up update stuff too. You can dye it too. Oh, that is looking beautiful actually. I haven't even played with the new update yet. Gorgeous. And of course, what most people are going to have seen from Steam and Rails is the alternative bogeys because we could place this guy down and like right click on him. Come on. There we go. Press Alt and you can see you can choose your bogey styles from this amazing menu because they add all these different ones from invisible to comically large to a standard bogey to narrow. You can see they're only compatible with certain types of styles. I think this is also compatible with like, yeah, there's different types of bogey. Like, look at all these. What is that? It's so cool. It's so amazing. Don't they even add like a little guy? Yes, they do. They add a little guy. Isn't this guy great? He's such a little... He's like a little andesite golem. Hey, buddy. Pretty sure these guys just act as like an easy conductor for your trains, but they're super adorable. Sorry, just going back to the smoke effect. Like, gorgeous, but make it pink. Oh, that's kind of purple, actually. Oh, it's pink at the top. <gasps> oh, I see. Ooh, that red is striking. I'm getting distracted. Steam and rails is just one of the essentials. Don't you agree, little guy? Yes, I do, Mr. T. Jojo. And, and you've got the best Create channel on the planet. Everyone should subscribe to you right now. Now, you might be asking yourself, T. Jojo, what is that thing behind you? And quite simply, it's a spinning contraption with two spinning contraptions attached to it and a functional nether portal. And, and it is functional, by the way. Though it's not spinning on the other side. Interactive is proof that a very long time ago we stopped asking ourselves if we should and only if we could. Not to say that this shouldn't be in Create because it's absolutely amazing. Amongst its ability to just put uh, whatever you want on top of this thing, you can uh, build on it. You know, just just casually build on your spinning, moving machines. It doesn't matter. There's no rules here, not anymore. Slap a saw on this baby, and now you got a tree farm that's wiggly and spinny all over the place. Like, what? I even lit this nether portal on top of it. Although, if you're motion sick, this, this is not the mod for you, man. It is a spinny, spinny mod. Just proof of my uh, statement earlier, you actually, yes, oh, whoa, I, I got, like, I got thrown. What? I got batted. Hold on, one more time. Hit me. Boom. <gasps> I'm going with it! <laughs> okay, uh, enough of that. Some more interesting things about this mod is that chests will work on top of it, but as will, like, stone cutters, you could still use those items, though they're a little bit too spinny for me to get access to. Hold on, let me- let me make a landfall on this guy. There we go. Boom! Hey! Work! It's broke. Okay, th this guy's going night-night. I'm shutting this guy off. Huh. <sighs> Too much spinning. I think I can show off the mechanical saw or the cutting usage much better just on top of a contraption. You can see there's a lot of stuttering with this one. There's a lot for it to process. Why are you so mad at me right now? Well, normally you'd be able to use this, but I guess I broke it somehow. Please ignore this creation's absolute hideousness, but another really amazing feature I wanted to show you is, of course, that chests work, like, visually and individually on minecart contraptions, which is really cool and all. But I'm pretty sure I could attach a simple storage... That is, this is a crafting terminal from Tom Simple Storage, and I can attach it to a moving contraption. This is an assembled contraption. In fact, you know what? I'll just add the drills onto it now and send this off to prove my point. Because, of course, you could always forget to add the drills earlier. Oh my gosh, the phantom, like, placement even applies. I am building onto a contraption right now. Alrighty, send it flying, please. I sent it in the wrong direction. Can I wrench this thing? Oh, that, that feels dubious. Oh, a little dubious, slightly dubious, not so bad though. Okay, that direction, please. There we go. Okay, so off this thing goes, and you can see I can open up the Tom Simple storage thing, and uh, of course it's not connected to the. Oh wait, I didn't add an inventory connector. That was goofy of me. Hold on, that's so stupid. They work. Oh my god. Oh my. That's so like this is this is like stupidly cool. Uh, whoops. Okay, now that this guy's running, I can show this off 
Look at how ridiculous this is. You are- you can watch the terracotta go up because you have Tom Simple Storage connected to a moving contraption. Um, it's in a wall. Okay, I built this thing very poorly, alright? But this, 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 I- this is everything. At the end of the day, Interactive makes what's behind me a fun little build to do, and I could spend probably my whole life exploring this pack. So we're gonna move on, because I'm gonna get distracted again. And now we have Enchantment Industry, a fantastic mod that's all about enchanting. It adds a way to store liquid experience and you can even shower in it in order to gain the experience which is so very cool and amongst the things you can do with it other than showering is you can actually put it in these printers okay so this is like a book printing press and if I put a book underneath of it it will like squish it down with I guess experience and boom, enchanted book. This one is Sharpness 5. Now I'd wear my goggles and stuff, but right now all my tooltips are broken. As you can see, for some reason, all of the tooltips and stuff is broken. Uh, but the next thing I wanted to show is this blaze enchanter, which is just super duper cool. You make them with these enchanting guides where you can put in a book and then that will be the uh, enchantment that it has. If the book has multiple enchantments, you can select them. Then just slap a blaze burner down, right click it, and it turns into like a wizard blaze burner. I love it. I love this thing. Whoops, I keep picking up this uh, hyper XP, which is a different uh, liquid experience that is in the game. It's really, really powerful. Um, and you know what? I'm going to put hyper XP in this guy because we have sharpness five inside of him, but hyper XP does something really cool. Can I give him a straw as well? No. Okay. So I think I use a bottle of hyper XP. Actually, I was going to pipe it in and then I realized that he's not a fluid. Well, he is a fluid, but he doesn't. I don't know. Anyways, I believe... How do I put stuff inside of you? Because all of my ponders are broken. Like, I'm pretty sure create underscore enchant underscore... Yeah, I, that's... that's These aren't words. These aren't words, actually. Oh, wait, you're sighted, aren't you? Hold on. Fluid comes from the bottom, doesn't it? There we go. I forgot these were sighted. That's right. Okay. Create mod without ponders. However will I survive? Anyways, he is now seething because he's full of liquid hyper experience, right? And I can take a sword and drop it on top... Or do I have to build it on top? No, right click it on top, my bad. And first of all, it plays a lovely animation where it's a spinning and a, a spinning around. And he's enchanting it right now, but using liquid hyper experience instead of uh, regular liquid experience. And that turns into sharpness six. So yeah, you could actually over enchant with the blaze enchanters, which is super cool. And then liquid hyper experience can be bathed in as well. And it even gives you like potion effects and like a ton more experience than normal. Look at it go. What am I- what am I looking at in survival mode, huh? What level am I? Ooh! Wow! That's a big one. One of the coolest features is XP-based mob farming. When you crush mobs, they have a chance to drop a nugget of experience, and that's how you get your liquid experience. So you can make silverfish farms by infesting stone and then breaking it over crushing wheels, and then they'll get all crushed up, and they'll turn into XP. Honestly, this is kind of up there with the essentials. It's just such a neat expansion to create, and it expands it into main magic. Magic and create. Everyone loves magic and create. Next up, we have New Age. I love New Age. It's a fun one. There's a ton of really cool stuff you can do and new age is another one that generates fe but it does so with this giant generator coil thing and the way it works is you give it some rotational force or a lot you want to give it a time and you make sure it's surrounded by these layered magnets and then connect it to the carbon brushes and it creates power which you can use in these little generators kind of just like uh how crafts and additions works they even have these connectors and by the way these connectors, man. Oh, let me tell you. They are so satisfying to hook up. When you do it, it sticks to your screen like that. You have this little wire. And then when you hover over an LG1, it just snaps right to it. Oh, it's so nice. And that sound, ooh. Yeah, I could do this all day. But another cool thing it adds is heat. There's a bunch of heat stuff, and this is like a nuclear reactor, which you put uh, thorium fuel in, which is really easy to form, and you can pump the heat out into a steam engine, or rather into these boiler heats to make a max level steam engine. Uh, I built a pretty bad one here. It's a little inconsistent and produces a bit of a light show up front. But you can see this is a really cool and very, very cheap way to get a max level steam engine once you've progressed a little bit, right? You obviously need to be able to get all this reactor stuff, but the thorium is easy. Like, you quite literally just double it. One goes in, two goes out. Beautiful. This is another one of those feature depth ones that I can't go over today, but New Age is just a blast, and if you want an awesome way to do new steam engines and power, well, 
this is the new way to do it. Another obvious one is Deco, one of the best create add-ons for building. It is literally a building mod with create in mind. There are train holes, there are coin piles, there are different types of bars and doors and trap doors and, and look at this connecting texture blocks and this is just cast iron. If we go into the blocks and create Deco, you can see there's andesite, gold, netherite, cast iron, copper, brass, zinc. It's so feature complete. I love these catwalks. They have these adorable horrible like signs and lights that you can turn on and off and item placards to show your stuff off in entirely new variants of bricks as well as an entire creative page to just bricks that's how many bricks it adds building has never been made easier when you're building with deco i absolutely recommend it it's perfect in the create style and honestly even if you're not playing with create mod you might want this i don't know if it actually works without the create mod but these building blocks are stellar. Actually, it doesn't work without the crate mod, does it? Because the only way to get cast iron in a lot of these items is through, like, compacting and stuff, so... Uh, interesting. Well, I mean, I guess the iron stuff would work without it, right? Nope. It wouldn't. Okay. Well, it is a create add-on. That's why it's on the list. This next one might border a bit on overpowered, but Dynamic Village is amazing. I mean, who wouldn't want create integrated villagers? There are four types. We have the mechanical engineer, we've got a train mechanic, we've got a miner, and we've got a hydraulic engineer. And you can see their selection of items is fantastic. A lot of either difficult to automate stuff or annoying to automate stuff is right here. Fluid valves, we got copper boots, back tanks this guy even sells you zinc and eventually brass and full blaze burners this one i love the train guy actually will sell you iron or display boards train casings up to vaults wrenches man who needs infinite wrenches you need infinite wrenches how about infinite emeralds for your belts or basins i love that you can buy mechanical arms and crafters i bet you could do a whole playthrough of create without actually crafting anything from create with these guys like i'm sure at some points they sell like shafts or cogs well i guess you'd have to craft these or maybe not come to think of it because i believe this is a special villager house that actually contains all the things that a hydraulics engineer needs so not only is there create components in here, but there should be a villager running around. I think it might be this guy. You're a mason. Get out of here, bro. Aha. Oh, this is even a miner. So yeah, you could play create without crafting anything from create. Maybe that's too OP or maybe it's super duper cool, but these guys won't be for everybody, will they? And to round it off, an add-on that I really hadn't heard of, Mechanical Spawner. Now this very unassuming block is pretty interesting. You can configure the spawner's height, so whether it tries to spawn it right underneath of the block, or on the same level as the block, or even above the block. But how does it work? Well, first up, it needs some spinny spin from the bottom, but uh, it also is a fluid container. So that progress bar is going to fill up, and nothing's going to happen. Also, there's a speed requirement, even though the progress bar just filled up, so make sure you are pumping enough into this guy. Even at 256, it doesn't consume too much stress, it's about as much as two crushing wheels. What you need is one of these spawn fluid buckets. Each one of them corresponds to either a random mob or a specific type of mob. And right now, it's a little broken on how to actually find out, like, how to make them. You want to look at their uses and then click on this liquid. For some reason, there's no way to actually put the liquid in the bucket that's just a bug but you can see the recipes are pretty interesting so a magma cube needs magma cream and spawn fluid an enderman is an ender pearl and spawn fluid and could you guess what a creeper is it's a gunpowder and spawn fluid and spawn fluid is blaze rod ender pearl water boom want to guess what happens when you put the spawn fluid in the spawner if you said it spawns things you'd be right we're gonna use the random one because random is fun and just to show this thing off i think it's super cool we're gonna set it to spawn it a little bit above uh and then we're actually gonna pull a cog power out to here to make sure that pump is moving and you can see it will begin to attempt a spawn i'm pretty sure each spawn takes a hundred millibuckets of the spawn fluid so you actually get a few spawns out of one craft which kind of balances out the fact that it takes the mob drop to make it but with random spawn that as i was saying with random spawns you get random mobs here's a skeleton who's now burning to death in the skylight i think this is a really great alternative to using trains or minecart contraptions to have to go and grab blocks and stuff and cart them across the world that's really annoying this is just a craftable thing and it's not too bad it's really just brass and like emeralds which is a cool thing and as you can see it's not like the fastest thing in the world but i feel like that balances it out for the relatively low cost it also allows you to farm creatures like Endermen a lot easier without needing spawners or anything. 
anything like that. I just think it's super cool. Like here, we can fill it with, uh, oh, a little slime. We can fill it with creeper fluid and uh, we'll break this. And there we go. Boom. Creepers. Look at these guys. Love them. Farm them. Whoops. A little strong. Well, there you have it. My top 10 picks for my favorite add-ons for 2024. I think these are a fantastic, fantastic bunch, and having all of them in the same pack will just produce a wonderful create mod experience. And I'm really glad that I discovered something like Mechanical Spawner in my research because it allows me to have infinite creepers. And fun DeJoge effect, creepers are my favorite mobs in Minecraft. Well, visually at least.